Today, Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic said that the Yankees need to trade Glaber Torres before opening day to let Anthony Volpe and Oswald Peraza play. This spring training, Anthony Volpe has three homers, five stolen bases, and a 967 OPS. I think he needs to make the roster or a lot of Yankees fans and players will be very, very disappointed. Oswald Peraza has struggled a little bit this spring, but he got a late stint in the league last year in which he hit 306 and was even able to play some really good defense as well, including that series against the Astros in the playoffs. And as far as Glaber, he could have some solid trade value to get you some stuff in return, whether that may be pitching or some other stuff, maybe an outfielder that they're looking for still. Peraza and Volpe could be the middle infielder of middle infield of the future for New York, as they look to be as their two top of their top prospects, Volpe being one of those super prospects. And they could also provide the spark that the Yankees need going into this season. For a couple more spring training updates of today, I feel like the Mets have been getting a lot of negative attention recently just because of their outlook for the season, whether it's Edwin Diaz being out for most of the season, if not the whole season, then Brandon Nimmo got injured shortly thereafter, but the positive side for the Mets is they have some of their star players doing star things as Pete Alonso, he had a three-run homer today, and Max Scherzer, he's been looking in prime Max Scherzer form this spring. He went six innings pitch today, allowed two runs, but he struck out 11 while just walking one so far this spring although it might not mean much he has a 1-4-5 ERA so he is dominating in spring and speaking of dominating that's going to be Chris Bryant of the Rockies I feel like it's really forgotten about that he is on the Rockies for a big seven year deal this will be number year number two on this deal and so far this spring he has just been raking he has a 355 batting average he hit his fourth homer of the spring today and he has a 1.265 OPS I think he'll also be benefited by by playing 81 games at Coors Field this year. Last year, he was only on the field for 42 games, so he didn't get a real look and real taste of what Chris Bryant with the Rockies would be like. But in those games, he sneakily had a 306 batting average and 851 OPS. So I hope that Chris Bryant can shine and be a bright spot for a Rockies team that, while they might not be the best team in the league, they can make for some fun games in that loaded NL West division at Coors Field, some high-scoring rivalry games. Let me know your thoughts.